Yo, what is good, people? It's Alex in the house. We hope you're all doing good. And uh, today, got a special little show for you. We're just going to be going through top five underrated comedy films. Yeah, top five. Yeah. So we're going to be watching the trailers. We're going to be looking and seeing what's what. And you're going to be seeing all that. All that's coming up. So keep it right here. Yeah. Jump. How's everyone doing? We are live. We are live in the house. We hope you're all doing good on this great day. It's St. George's Day. Get the flags out. Get the red on. Get it out because it's time to celebrate St. George's Day. So let's get on with the show. Like Number one, um, well, it's not in any particular order. So if you miss the entry, this is the most underrated comedy film, top five, as I see it, yeah, so here we go, this is what you've been waiting for, what, what, get your comments coming in, if you're watching, like, let me know how it's going, let me know how you're doing, like, let me know how you're coping with lockdown, like, get it in, 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 what, yep, so, First one we're going to be seeing is Nice Little. Going to be seeing See No Evil. Here I know Evil. Oh, yeah. Gene Wilder. I am deaf. Repeat death. Richard Pryor. I'm blind. Repeat. That's the first uh, film on the list. See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Filmed in 1989. Great film, I have to say. Great film. And if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. So that's first on the list. Definite one to watch. Like, if you haven't watched it, if you don't know the actors in it, definitely check it out. Great actors. Filled with everything. Like, everything you definitely want from it. So, next film on the list. Get Hard, oh, this is a classic, well, not a classic, obviously, 2015, but it's pretty, it's pretty good, so let's check it out, let's check that out now. Check me out. Hello? Who the hell are you? I don't think they've ever 
seen a white person before. Trust me, that is not the problem. <laughs> I'm looking to join the Crenshaw Kings. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> I just want you to protect him while he's on the inside. Mister, I'm too good for the hood. Now bounce your ass up off this front porch sideways. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand a word you said. <laughs> I sentence you to maximum security prison. You have 30 days to get your affairs in order. I didn't do it! I sentence you to stay in quick. Yeah, damn! Teach me how to survive in prison the way you did. Wait, what? I could pay you. <laughs> See them all, convict. Why would he hire you? Because he thinks I went to prison. You're not exactly a thug, Darnell. All I gotta do is be every stereotype he already thinks I am. Oh, bitch, don't walk away from me. <laughs> what the hell did you just say? Oh, stop! Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop! What is that? If you do exactly what I say, you will definitely survive in prison. Let me see what your mad dog face is like. I'm sorry, what's a mad dog? You mad dog! <laughs> like a pit bull with no leash. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, James? I'm sad dogging you. James. You think that's a strategy that could work? Please don't sexually assault me. I'm already too sad. <laughs> you to punch that big ass dude in the mouth. That's insane. Well, those type of guys you're gonna see in San Quentin. Hey guys, I wanna fight you. Some kind of joke, man? <laughs> Your mother's a joke. Your train is not going well, man. I got a plan. God, you're gonna learn how to. What? When life throws in dick, you make decade. Decade doesn't sound like a significant improvement over <laughs> dick. We do this, we do it hard. I can get hard. We're about to simulate a prison riot. <laughs> I totally feel fine. Oh! What? It's a <gasps> Is my eyes okay? It looks fine. This is where I need to get out. <laughs> 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 oh. Brilliant room. Brilliant film there, like. Brilliant, brilliant film there. So that's Get Hard. Get Hard for all of you. Get Hard is such a funny film. Like, Will Farrow and Kevin Hart really do it good. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm doing this because it's lockdown, it's quarantine. We want some laughs, we want some like fun, we want some like talking, and we want to know the top five underrated films. And this is my interpretation of the top five underrated films. Yeah. So if you're enjoying this, make sure to subscribe, make sure to check out my YouTube channel. It's all about Bradbury. And you know where it is. So let's move on to the next one. It's Borat. Oh yeah. The one, the only, the brilliant, such a brilliant actor. Like, I have to say, he's one of these guys that just like takes it to a whole nother level. I don't know like whether you can like hear me good in that. So I hope that's all coming through good. But like, if it doesn't, then like that would just be even more jokes. But at least you get to see the screen. <laughs> so, let's move on to the next one. It's Bora. Yes, you match. I'm my name is Bora. This is my country of Kazakhstan. It's nice. Bachobes, ping pong, disco dance, and Sundays. This is my house, country place. This is where I live. My beard. This is a VCR record. And these are my cassettes. Now I show you outside from my house. Tissue. This is Natalia. She is my sister. She is number four prostitute in all of Kazakhstan. Nice. Kazakhstan, glorious country. It has a problem too. This why Ministry of Information have decided to send me to US and A to learn a lesson for Kazakhstan. I go to America! <laughs> America! 
Another quality film, another, another quality film. I have to say, like, another quality film. Borat, so good, so good. Like, so the next film on the list, Sasa Varakona, as best I was, next film on the list is The Shaun of the Dead. Oh, what a film, 2004. You might have seen it, you might have not. This is another reason why I'm doing this because there's a lot of films out there that. You perhaps might not have heard of or might not have seen so i'm letting you know on the inside the informations what yep it's coming right from the breadbury as you can see what what yeah so this was the next one on the list sean of the dead so let's check it out. Do you ever think modern life is not for you? You do the same dead end job every day. There's no I in team, but there is an I in pie. <laughs> There's an I in meat pie. Oh, and I don't know meat is team. I don't know. Is your love life dying on its feet? It's a wonderful night. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever felt that you're turning into a zombie? <laughs> Although no one is prepared to comment, religious groups are calling it Judgment Day. Of crisis. It is vital that you stay in your home. A hero must rise. And avoid all contact with the assailants. From his sofa. Attackers <laughs> <laughs> can be stopped by removing the head or destroying the brain. Look the head. Purple <laughs> right, huh? Sorry, the song. Definitely not. The Batman soundtrack. Oh. This fall, the biggest zombie comedy in British history is invading America. I'm coming! And if you're looking for a man... I'm taking a shortcut before. ...with the right moves... <gasps> nice, good vocal work. Let's all try it together, shall we? One, two... <laughs> The only thing that will redeem mankind is cooperation. Good luck! And the right partner. Ed! Two seconds. Jeez. And hold it there. Oh, sorry. Call. Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh. He's my husband, you know. I still love him. I've still got the <laughs> ring on my finger. You go to bed with it? Oh my god. That is some funniness right there. That is some jokes. That is so funny. Shaun of the Dead. Quality, quality film that is. Quality, quality. Honestly, like one of one of the one of the best. I have to say that. This is interesting. Yeah, it is one of the definite, one of the one of the best like films out there. Like, and if you like Simon Pegg and uh, definitely people like that, you should definitely check it out. Like, another reason I'm doing this is that like if you're stuck at home and you're like wondering like, oh, what should I watch? Like, what's good? You know, these are films that you can check out. there, classics, timeless. Like, watch it time after time, and it would just be like so funny. It would just be like a laugh a minute almost. You know. So yeah, definitely. And the final film, the final film right now. So let's keep, check it out. And the final film, whoa, a bit of a gap there, isn't it? <laughs> it's White Chicks in 2004. What a film, like, the Waynes brothers, the family, like, oh, the comedy comedian legends, like, oh, such a duo, such a double act. 
and we've got to dig in straight away to this because it's it's unmissable. If you've not seen it, definitely see it. If you if you have seen it, you've got to watch it again. It's one of those. It's one of those. strikes, we will be ready. All you gotta do is pick them up and drop them off. No. You don't actually think we're gonna go to the Hamptons looking like this. To catch their kidnappers. One more score than me and you are through. You know them girls ain't gonna be there? Oh, they'll be there. They'll have to do the unthinkable. Yo, what's up, money? You got a problem? Nah, yo, hold my poodle, huh? Hold my poodle, dog. What, you want some of this? Some of this? Oh, you don't want none of this, son? I'll take the boat for you. From Keenan and Ivory Wales. Bring me and Tiffany Wilson checking in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the director of Scary Movie. Oh, oh, there is something different about the two of you. Do you need help? This isn't going to work. First time you're wearing the wrong underwear. <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna do this? I'm telling you, by the end of the weekend, we're gonna heroes. They're boldly going where no black man has gone before. I don't see why I gotta go out with men dingo. Because if you don't, you're gonna fall. That don't mean I gotta go out with Buffy the White Girl Slayer. Like, you captivated by your beauty. Oh, I gotta get in there and just suck that right out. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Wayans. Don't hurt yourself, sweetheart. Don't worry. I won't. Marlon Wayans. It's the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, you're so dumb. You went to Dr. Drake for a boob job. Oh, let's kick it old school. I think you meant a black in a previous life. For shizzle, my new. White chicks. This is our jam, ladies. This is our jam. We think I'm all the way downtown. Walking fast. Face is past and I'm homebound. Take it to me, Brie. Oh, great, great, great films. I appreciate its early like. So the white chicks, that was like, I appreciate its early like. But um, you'll definitely catch this on the flip side. Like, I'm sure like people who watch it throughout the day when they finish work, all that sort of thing, when they're on break, just a little thing to give them a bit of like, you know, a bit of a pull up, you know, give them a bit of a laugh and a joke. So that's all for me, really, like, but have a have a great one guys have a good one enjoy st george's day and literally stay safe stay home look after your family and that's all for me layers peace